My name's David Loeb. I'm a pediatric oncologist here at Johns Hopkins, which means I take care of children with cancer, and in particular, I take care of children with tumors that arise from um, connective tissue like bone and muscle and tendons. There are about 13,000 new cases of sarcoma in the United States every year. This compares with about 195,000 new cases of breast cancer every year. But despite that, they're very common in children. So about 15 to 20 percent of all childhood cancer is a sarcoma. And in children, those are usually tumors of bone or of muscle. Ben was diagnosed a few years ago with Ewing sarcoma. He was found to have hip pain, which is kind of an unusual complaint for a little kid. Um, and his pediatrician recognized that as an unusual complaint and did x-rays to try and understand why and found a tumor in his hip and referred him to us. And he came to Hopkins and we biopsied the tumor and we diagnosed him with Ewing sarcoma. After Ben was diagnosed in January 2006, early January, um, we began the process and it was very quickly detailed out for us. Dr. Loeb and Dr. Kaywood met with us and told us everything that we would have to do or decide to do within that year. And it would take about a year for the whole process of his chemotherapy and treatment. His treatment involved um, the full sarcoma team, so he was evaluated by radiation oncology, he was treated by pediatric oncology with almost a year's worth of chemotherapy, and he had uh, surgery from my colleague Dr. Weber in orthopedic oncology to remove his tumor and a large chunk of the normal bone around it, which is really important to making sure that the tumor doesn't come back after the surgery. When Ben had his hip removed, um, the tumor was in the acetabulum, which is the hip joint, so it's right about here. They took the entire cuff as well as the good portion of the femur and cut them away completely. Then they took the remaining part of the leg and femur, shoved it up inside the body, poked four holes in it, as well as four holes in the remaining portion of the pelvis, and used fiber wire to sew him back together. He went through a lot. He, as I said, had a year's worth of chemotherapy, but after his surgery, because of the amount of bone that had to be removed, he was in a cast that went from his um, underarms all the way down to his knees for about six weeks. Sarcomas are one of the types of childhood cancer where we're making um, excellent strides in curing patients. And these days there are some forms of childhood sarcoma where 90% or more of the patients are cured with a combination of chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery. It felt really like stressful how I couldn't move that much. And it like got really hard, like I needed, sometimes I had an itch and I couldn't reach it, or I couldn't move because I was really stiff. So, but when I got it off, I was, um, really like I felt like so good because I actually felt air and it just made me feel new. Looking at Ben now, he's 12, pushing 13 very soon, um, soon to be teenager. And to think that this was four and a half years ago that we were in the throes of it all and it just seemed like more than we could handle. It's such a blip on our radar. Now. It is a part of us, it's a part of our history. It always will be who we are. <sighs> but um, it's just that. And it's not the black cloud that you think it will be over your life. <laughs>